what is food? What is food for you guys? Nutrition. Good. All right. So we got nutrition. Anybody else? All right. And so we got energy, right? Absolutely. Comfort. Pleasure, right? So we got vitamins, right? What about antioxidants? Food is a lot of different things to us. How many of you right now are maybe kind of taking some vitamins or antioxidants or you know maybe some minerals I didn't write down but you know mineral supplements okay so one of them I mean this is a big time this is a big industry so what we've done is we've 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 taken something that is whole and we've compartmentalized it so modern nutritionism has 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 moved away from looking at food as a whole as a whole substance and started breaking it down with the concept that if you get these couple vitamins and these couple minerals and if these you get these couple nutrients and some antioxidants, you're healthy. And we can make it in the lab and make another million dollars. But my question really is, it, does food really still equal food? If you open your fridge today and you have all these like, you know, maybe there's a lot of fresh foods in there. Maybe there's a lot of vegetables and fruit. Good for you. But for the average American, you'll find a lot of boxes and cans and bags with great little health claims and a lot of labels with a lot of, you know, how much of vitamins and how much of this and how much this is healthy and you got all the health claims on it. And this is where the problem starts because we've lost sight of what food is. Because we think that if something comes in a box and the Surgeon General recommends that it's good for your heart and we've got a couple of health claims on it and it's got added vitamins to it and some antioxidants that it's good for us. See, this is a billion dollar industry that we're running into, but we're not that smart that we can replicate nature yet. What food processing does, it'll take a whole food with all these thousands of nutrients and phytonutrients and minerals and antioxidants and things we don't even know about, and it strips it down all the way and takes all, all, all the nutrients, and then we come along and say, well, but let's just enrich it and add some B vitamins, some folic acid, thiamine, maybe some niacin, Okay? So that your baby doesn't develop cleft palate or you end up with some, you know, beriberi or other disease. And, uh, and we're good. So you've been enriched. Maybe you've been fortified. But see, this is what food processing does. And we've been lulled over decades to believe that these foods are safe to eat or that these foods will actually feed us. Well, they will. But for how long and with what consequence? And the consequence is degenerative disease because we've gone away from eating whole foods and that's the big issue you know so I want I, I you know I implore all of you when you go home tonight and you look at your pantry and you look at your and you look at your fridge if you open it up and most of the foods that are looking back at you are foods and boxes and cans and bags that have a long shelf life and a lot of health claims and a long in ingredient list, you might want to really rethink what you're really putting in your body on a daily basis, specifically if you're dealing with any kind of chronic health condition. <laughs>